Welcome to Aula, and what is hopefully the first of many rock arches we're going to find on this trip. This afternoon, we are just north of the Sharan Nature Reserve, which is part of Aula, and we are getting ready to head north from Aula to Taima, all the way through the desert. This little rock arch is situated just a few meters off the road, so it's super easy to get to on our way to camp tonight. We've met up with our friends, and we have picked our camping spot for the night. So we're going to set up camp and enjoy a relaxing evening. He is hard at work right now, putting up our tent, getting us ourselves sorted, while I'm just walking around taking pictures and videos. So I guess I should help him. But if I didn't do that, you guys wouldn't be seeing this. <laughs> Something I found very interesting when looking at these huge rock formations is there are some rocks that are like wedged into the big, bigger rock. And so clearly they have was formed over time and the layers kind of like covered up these rocks and now they're exposed maybe because of erosion or something, but they're just really cool looking. A room with a view. I assembled the chairs, well, mostly. I can't ever get this bottom part to like go on the actual chair, so Eric always has to finish it off, but I did do most of it. Please look at this view. We are in the desert in between Aula and Taima. And this is a part of Saudi we have never been to. So we are out exploring. So far it's been a lot of rocks and a lot of sand, but then there's just a lot of really cool formations that are, are different than some of the other places we've been. They're a lot more dome, very, looks like they've been worn away by time and sand and water. And so, it's just a different landscape once again. So, come along with us, let's go check it out. As we were driving through the desert, I saw this plateau with a pretty nice easy incline that I thought, let's go to the top of that. So, we got out of the cars and hiked to the top. And it's really cool. There's like this lighter color rock rock with uh, some like really dark, pretty like pretty purple almost rocks and it's just it's a nice view. So we're about 25 miles into the desert and behind me you can see this awesome wall of rock art that we found. There's actually two walls, this side and the other side of the canyon right here, that are completely covered uh, and there are rock art petroglyphs of camels and ibex. There's even this really big cow or calf uh, picture that you can see behind me as well. found another arch. It's kind of windy up here, so this is not where we will camp, but the view is stunning. We've kind of risen higher than the landscape and we can just see for miles. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful morning from the middle of nowhere. Camel crossing.
we slept in the middle of nowhere, we made breakfast in the middle of nowhere, and now we are on the road in the middle of nowhere. We will travel about the same distance today that we did yesterday, about 50 kilometers or so, but we're going straight through the desert, no roads. So let's see what we can find today. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> We found this big rock formation that looks like it has a cave in it. We can see it from the trail we were on. So we are gonna go see if we can find the cave and check it out, see what it is. It's not a cave, rather it's like a slot canyon with petroglyphs on the walls and little narrow passageways. It's really cool. This landscape feels like it is straight out of bedrock. You know, like from the Flintstones? This is what it looks like to me. I'm gonna see if I can climb up to this arch. Take a look. All the way up there on the top. Well, I don't think it's possible. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I don't think it's possible for me to get up to that arch, but I have found my own private little arch since I'm the only one that came up here. Baby arch! This arch is an arch on a mountain. And I'm the only one that came up here, so it's my arch. <laughs> Just kidding, the drones are up too. We found this after coming down a nice steep rock. I drove it and uh, went down the steep rock and pulled out of the way and kind of like circled back around. And I'm just sitting in the driver's seat and I look up and there's an arch on top of the mountain. So that was a pretty good find. I wanted to try to climb up there, but I don't think there's any way I'm getting up there. So, we'll just have to admire the view from here. What do you think? Pause the video and tell us below what you think about arches when you're out in the middle of the desert. We have arrived at this huge pointy rock in the middle of the flat desert. So it just looks like a big, from afar, it kind of looks like a big foam finger just sticking out of the ground. So let's go have a look a little bit closer. See, it's just gigantic. Our next stop that we are trying to get to is just a pin that we have. We don't know what is there and we don't know if anything is actually there, but we're going to go explore and see what we can find. I don't even know if you can hear me because it is so windy, but here is the pin. This is where the pin brought us, I guess, with these huge towering rock formations behind us.
guys smoking shisha, playing an instrument. What do you think? When you don't have a rooftop tent, like the people who are traveling with, the key to finding a good spot is to make sure that there's sand that you can hit the stakes into and out of intense wind where you won't get sand kicked up on you all night. So we think we found a spot that will hopefully work tonight. It's a little bit in a low lying area and has um, some things kind of blocking the wind, but hopefully it won't be too windy tonight. We woke up, packed up camp, and drove, I don't know, 30 minutes or so to get to this point. And this might look familiar to you if you've seen some of our other videos, but this is the Rock of Nesla. Now, the Rock of Nesla is kind of a unique rock here in the middle of the desert because there is a line that looks like it was laser cut just down the middle of this huge rock. So let's go check it out. And I want you to let me know what you think created this rock formation. Was it natural? Was it not? Was it aliens? Who knows? <laughs> what do you think? Let us know in the comments below all the way up to the top. It's perfectly cut. Our time in the desert between Al Ula and Taima is coming to a close. After the Rock of Nesla, we are headed back onto the road to go get gas and get, up, get some more food. So we're gonna be leaving this desert behind, but I want to know, what did you think about this trip? What was your favorite part of this trip and what we saw? Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss anything in the future. And if you liked this video, be sure to click that like button. Just do it right now. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.